let's get into the tutorial click on create so you put Windows 2000 and you can name your virtual machine there we go Windows 2000 server others I'm gonna choose the D drive. You can install whatever you want. And then I click next. I'm gonna bump the RAM up a little bit. There we go. You can leave it at minimum 64 megs. Click next. And then check the middle option. And you can create. And you know what? I'm gonna select uh, VDI next. Next. And I'm gonna leave it at four gigs. Create. So now we just need the ISO. So you go to settings. Storage. Hit the empty disk. Then choose your ISO. Okay, so I copied the ISO file over my USB flash drive to here. So here's Windows 1000 Surfer. If you have ISO, you can download it on WinWorld. And you just click Open. And then click OK. Okay. And then you click Start. You can start the virtual machine. Ignore the little sound of the hard drive. It's just because I'm doing a full scan with Windows Defender. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on full screen. No, I'm, I'm gonna. Now, ignore this, just press enter, and then press enter again, press C, hit F8 to agree the license agreement, and then you can create a partition if you want, or you can just press enter to install the partition, when I hit escape to create two partitions, I'm gonna delete this, and I'm gonna create two partition of two gigs, There we go, and then on the in the C partition, if you have two partition, you click, you hit enter on the C partition, and then I recommend you to format the partition using the NTFS file system because it's faster and it's more secure. The FAT is more for older operating systems like Windows 98, Windows 95, etc. So I recommend you to select NTFS and then hit enter to format. <laughs> And then you just wait 15 seconds or press enter to reboot and it will say press any key don't do that do not or else you will restart the setup starting windows and there we have the boot screen of windows 2000 server family and everything is in French not the uh, not the virtual machine but my operating system windows 10 is in French because I am French, I make more French videos because it's my main language. All right, you here you just click next or just wait.
on the language screen, the regional settings, the system locale and user locates control how numbers, currencies, and date appear. The system locale is set to English United States, and the user locale is set to English United States for all users on this computer. The keyboard L controls the characters that appear when you type. Ensure that we'll use the U.S. keyboard layout. Well, make sure these are correct. But not my. Um, it's not correct for me because I live in France, so I much must do French France. And I have the euro sign. Date, input locales, add. Five times I press the F letter to to make French France appear. Set as default, apply, okay. Each user will it will you start with the French keyboard out and you will able to switch, yeah. And then you type your name. I'm just gonna type my channel name. And then you type your organization if you want, and then click next. And then you enter the product key. So I'm gonna enter it right now in the front of your eyes. There we go, there's a product key, you can pause the video or look in the description if you want to check the product key, but after that you just click next, and after that you can either do one of those, I'm gonna do proceed next, and then your name, you can name your computer, I'm gonna name it win 2 k server. oops, there we go, and you type the password if you want, I'm gonna type one. Oops. Oops. I do a lot of errors. There we go. You can type the password if you want, but I'm going to type one. There we go. Uh, they don't match, but. I'm gonna type a much shorter one. There we go. And then after that, you can leave it. You could click next, but I'm gonna select because I don't want everything accessibility. Accessibility. I don't want it. I don't want that too. I'm gonna check if it's all right. Yes. 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 Everything is checked. So games. I don't want free sale. Multimedia. Okay, everything is here. Okay. I don't want that. I don't want that. And I want that. And then you click next. Make sure the date and time is correct and the time zone. Well, I'm in France, so I will put Paris, Madrid. There we go, and then you click next. It will install the network components, and it will ask you if for a work group, and you type the work group, work group. You'll see, and as you as you saw, it was extremely fast, but it was faster on my old computer. I don't know why, but all right. So you just check typical settings next. And then you, you I recommend you to check no. You can do one of, you can do one of those, but I'm gonna check no and you type work group. I'm gonna click yes. I'm gonna type work group and then click next. Enter the password. There we go. You saw my password. You didn't say my password because it was censored. And if I download play when I pressing time, yes. Well, we will try to do to join later, but.
Windows 1000 setup wizard. You have successfully completed the Windows 1000 setup. If there is a CD in your drive, remove it. Then, to restart your computer, click Finish. Well, you're not obligated to remove the CD, but I recommend you so it will save a few seconds. So hit Control, Page Up, Devices, Optical Drive, and then Eject the Disk. So I, we took out the disks and we click Finish to restart. And see, it doesn't say press any key to move from CD because we removed the disk. And Windows 1000 is now installed. You'll see. My scan is almost finished. Alright. Press and control off the delete to begin. And if we click OK. I set up a password, so there we go. And then we have the lovely startup sound. I don't want to hear your server. And then I will move the icons better. I can't delete that. Well, you know what? I'll just move it there. Lamb, lamb, next, no, next, finish, alright, connect to the internet is gone, I will create a new folder here, I call it games because I will play games on this virtual machine, so now, a rain, um, line of icons there we go um, this is gonna go away uh, close okay no stop doing that crap alright you know what I'll just move it here and to install the drivers to have, for example, a, f a full 1920 by 1080 or a full screen resolution, you need to do this. Devices, install the VirtualBox Guest Editions. Welcome to the, or, uh, yeah, next. You just click next, next. And of course, the VirtualBox Direct 3D support is not available on Windows 2000. So I'm going to uncheck that because I don't want that. So I'm going to click install now. Okay, it's doing yes. Oh, you click yes. Oh. The the cord sound was glitched. Okay. Yes. And then you can choose to reboot now. I'm gonna reboot now, but I'm I'm gonna disable the stretched mode. There we go. Reboot now. And there's no shutdown sound because uh, it was it's disabled automatically. So now we're gonna boot back up to Windows. Uh, so I'm going to go into full screen mode. Is it still recording? Yes, it's still recording. Okay. And then uh, this will be full screen now after that. After I log in, it should be full screen. Or in a few seconds. Three, two, one. So yep, this is now full screen. There we go. But I didn't hear the startup sound. I hope the sound still works. So exit windows, I'm gonna put it to Windows log off sound. And of course there's no sound playing. I don't know why, but I think that's bugged. Program error and put it to cord 
and OK. And as you can see, we have two disks. And I'm going to rename that Windows. And if we open this, it's not formatted. So you, we're going to have to format it. You, you do it like this. NTFS. I recommend you. I highly recommend NTFS. And then I'm going to name it Storage Quick Format. And I'm going to enable that. You can choose it like this. So I'm going to. I'm gonna do it like that because I want files compressed. So start, okay. There we go, the format is already complete. Storage D and eject. And there we go. Now if you go to properties, the screen is nineteen twenty by ten eighty. If you do thirty two bit, it will do this. So I'm going to leave it at 1920 by 1080. I want this to disappear. Crap. Show title. Show text. Close. There we go. So that's the end for Windows 2000. So I'm going to shut the virtual machine down. There we go. Shut down. Uh, do it again. This is the end for the setup of Windows 2000. This is the end for the video on how to install Windows 2000 on VirtualBox or on a virtual machine. I thank you so much for watching. If that helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel to help me each reach a thousand subscribers. So, bye bye everyone.